This is the absolutely brilliant Mr. Tom Cottle! Hello, Michael. Mummy and Daddy have got something to tell you. And we want you to be very grown up about it, okay? As you know, Michael, Daddy has been working a lot away from home recently. Haven't you, darling? Yes, I have. He's been awfully busy with Jasmine, his secretary, who he's been working very closely with. Yes. Now... He's back. And as you said to me the other day, Michael, when you were off ill from school, you walked in on Daddy and Jasmine working, didn't you? We were working very hard. Yes, very hard. And the reason Daddy and Jasmine didn't have any clothes on then was... was because we were very hot, wasn't it, darling? Yes, darling. Also, Michael, Mummy has been very busy at the moment as well. Haven't you, darling? Yes, I have. As you know, Greg the gardener has been around an awful lot at the moment. And that's because the garden has required a lot of work of late. Yes, an awful lot of work. And in answer to your question, you asked the other day, Michael, after you saw Mummy helping Greg in the garden, the reason Greg had his fingers up there was because... Well, was because Mummy had a splinter in her tummy, and he was trying to pull it out. The other day, Michael, Greg brought some of his friends around to help with all the big jobs in the garden, and Mummy was... Helping them all. And funnily enough, that was the same day that Jasmine brought some of her friends around to help Daddy with all the work in the office. And Daddy too was helping them all. Well, since that day, things have changed. Yes. Things have been a bit different in our house. And Daddy and myself have... I've come to a decision. Yes. You know Mummy and Daddy love you very, very, very much, don't you, Michael? We do. Very, very much. And Mummy and Daddy still love each other too, but... But things have to change. So... Well, Michael... What we're trying to say, Michael, is that <gasps> Mummy and Daddy would like you to move out. Yes, because Greg and all his friends are going to move in and help Mummy with all the work in the garden. And Jasmine's friends are going to move in as well to help Daddy with all the hard work in the office. And we need your room. You right guys, this is Dead Parrot, I'm here with Tom Cottle. Tom, you just did Spank, how was yes, it? Yes, I did. It was really good actually. It was a bit worrying doing Spank sometimes. It's a very drunk audience and I did sort of want to go on early because uh, you have to sort of listen to my stuff and once you get more and more drunk, the audience don't really tend to listen. So it went very well and they were a very good audience actually. I enjoyed it a lot, yeah, very good. Is your, uh, your story of uh, a, a child at home, it, it's quite a dark, uh, kind of dark narrative. But how did you find the inspiration for that? Well, actually, the inspiration for that sketch uh, was uh, from a TV drama uh, called Hattie, which is about Hattie Jakes. And there was a scene where, you know Hattie Jakes, she did uh, the Carry On films. Yes. She played the big matron in the Carry On films. And she was married to a guy called John LeMessurier, who was in Dad's Army. In real life, they were married, and he played Sergeant Wilson. Anyway, yeah. Um, and knowledge. It, it was a d knowledge. <laughs> and there was a bit of... Uh, uh, there, there was a drama about Hattie Jakes and they had to sit their children down to tell them that they're going to have a divorce and I got the idea from that, I watched it and they had the same piece of music and it had the same sort of lines in saying Mummy and Daddy have got something to tell you both and I want you to be very brave 
And, uh, you know, so I liked that, but I didn't want to have him have a divorce. I thought it was something more darker than that. So I had it sex. That they're into sex. They're into orgies. <laughs> if in doubt, orgies. Always gets a laugh. That works, yeah. yeah. I, I love the, the lion um, had a splinter in her tummy and he was trying to pull it out. Yeah. That's, that's beautiful. <laughs> Just, I, is that one of those moments where you go, yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm going to have a rest now. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's in my show. And my parents came to watch my show tonight. So I was a bit like that. And they've seen me do stuff here before in my sketch show, Comedy Bitch. And they've always really liked that. But tonight they're a bit, I think they're a bit shocked by some of the things that I was doing. I, I, I like to sit there, I was sitting there going, he saw us. <laughs> he did. But yeah, I know. Uh, Mr. Oh, yeah. and Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. Cottle, if you're watching this, we're, we're joking. We're joking. Oh, we're joking. <laughs> <laughs> Going out for lunch with them tomorrow. But they did enjoy it. But I think it was a bit too dark for them and a bit too weird. The whole show, I mean, not just Spank, but the whole show that they saw tonight. So, do you have any like pre-gig rituals? Is there where you kind of psych yourself up ready for a gig? Well, no, not normally. But for this show, I have been because it's such a technical show that I do. So I have a. Unlike what I did there, I have a massive puppet that's got really long arms and really long legs. And I have headless mannequins that I step behind and sort of play characters. It's a very macabre, dark show. It's a bit like a, if Tim Burton had done a pantomime. It's very weird. And so, um, yeah, I, I have to sort of chill out a bit and relax and stuff and get my head around what I need to do. And normally I don't. I just sort of chill out and then go on stage. But yeah, but this I found I have to sort of calm down and have an hour off just to have a little sleep actually because it's so knackering here well Tom uh, this is, well you've been absolutely fantastic that was fine uh, let's bring it in bring it in hug it out yeah there you go <laughs> you need to get some sleep my friend I do I do I'm going to go now it can break you guys Edinburgh can break you <laughs> fair see because you're abusing your looks that's what you're doing because you got like a nice face but it turned I'm beginning to think you might have an asshole soul and it's, 